What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from the Petro in Ontario, California. Got here nice and early so didn't have to worry about any parking issues or anything like that but you know I've had some people ask why I would turn down a load, why I don't, all that kind of stuff so I ended up having to turn down a load. Well, I didn't have to but I did turn down a load. Uh, just to rewind a little bit, we dropped off a load in Idaho Falls, Idaho, and they said, Lyle, there ain't no loads coming out of there. Just head back to the Salt Lake City Terminal. Cool, whatever. Go ahead and do that, and they sent us a load, and the load that they sent us, let me see if I can find it right quick. The load that they sent us was a load that I turned down. And I turned it down for a number of different reasons, so let's go by all them reasons. Now, uh, it was a load that was gonna pick up at the Salt Lake City Yard. It had three drops on it. Now, maybe if it was a true team and maybe not a training team situation, you could maybe consider it, but even just a regular team, three drops, okay? So first of all, we're like 700 miles away from the first delivery, right? So I was going through it in my head, and all this maybe took about two minutes. Going through it in my head, okay, my co-driver gets us out there, gets us, you know, let's say within 75 miles, 80 miles of the 01, and we shut down, or I take over, you know. The next thing I gotta think about is our first delivery is at 0600, and our last delivery is at 3 30 p.m. so in my mind I'm saying okay he drives out there okay let's say that I'm able to sleep now this is our first run together so let's say I am able to just go ahead and go to sleep which I probably wouldn't have on the first run but let's say I even do get to sleep so he drives out there gets within 85 miles either we take a break then or uh, based I didn't calculate the hours out exactly but let's say I take over and get us to the 01. The entire time that my co-driver is back there trying to get to sleep, we're in and out of docks the whole time. He's in and out of the top bunk, down to the bottom bunk, all this kind of stuff multiple times, breaking up his sleep and everything. The other thing I considered was where are these loads going? So our first drop off was gonna be in Long Beach, California. Not a super fan of Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I love snooping them, but uh, you know, really not trying to hang out too much in Long Beach. But then the banger comes in. Actually, that's not the banger. The next drop is in Vernon, California. You know what? I've delivered there before, but not to this specific place. But here's the one. And you might have heard about it. Everybody talks about this place. Ralph's in Compton, California. That's the last delivery. So Ralph's, from what I've heard, I've never delivered there, is not the easiest uh, place to deliver to. So even that alone, even just Ralph's by itself delivering, I probably would have turned it down on that just based on what other people had said. Not because I'm really afraid, but then you look at, okay, Compton, California. My hours are going to be kind of running out at that point. Uh possibly might be able to do a split but let's say even I do have drive time left uh, finding parking washouts you know all that stuff down in Compton the closest truck stops are so far away that it just makes everything inconvenient so I notice I didn't mention anything about money I think that money works its way out in the end I don't want to be a slave necessarily to money but uh, yeah so th those are the reasons that I, I turned that load down I ended up accepting a load that was leaving Hershey California going to Corona or not Hershey California in uh, Ogden Utah Hershey's going to uh, Corona California uh, it was about 700 miles it was almost, well, it was basically a solo load. So 
I had him just to kind of get his feet back wet again because he's been off a couple weeks. Had him drive, or no, I drove. I started out driving, drove about 500 miles, got up this morning, he got us into Ontario. And then uh, tomorrow morning I'll start and uh, get to the old one, maybe the washout, then we might switch around then just to keep him, you know, in the beginning I like to keep anybody I'm driving with on days just so they feel a little bit more comfortable, things like that. But uh, notice I didn't mention money about that either. You know, like I said, I think everything kind of washes out in the end. So, uh, you know, somebody had left a comment and saying, you know, said, isn't picking loads part of the training process? Not really, not, not, not really. It's not, if, if we're picking from a load board or something like that, that may make a little bit more sense. But the reasons I turn down loads is not going to be the reason that somebody else turn, turns down a load. And I really don't turn down a lot of loads, but there, if there are things that I don't like about the load, nothing to do with money, I'll turn them down. It could be a shipper, it could be a receiver, it could be time on a load, it could be stuff like that, but it's never just the pure money of the load. And I seem to be doing all right, you know what I'm saying? I've never complained about money at Prime. Now, if you hear somebody that, you know, if you hear somebody complaining about money at Prime, and how they pick loads, listen to them. That's a totally different situation. Me, I just, it's more about quality of life or the best quality of life that you could possibly have out here. So, anyway, that's about it. So, we have, uh, last night we got to shut down for about nine hours. Get back, got back up this morning, rolled out here, and now we have 15 hours. So, uh, once we're done delivering this load, we should have a load that we can kind of stretch out on. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just more typical driving. Cut the training wheels off. Go to sleep. Have him drive and do that whole thing. But anyway, that is what is going on here. I appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I'm about to come back here and relax a little bit catch up on some comments catch up on some youtube videos call my right wife real quick and uh see if he can endure this heat back here when the sun gets blazing on him i heard some people in the prime mink you know tnt training page complained about the heat and like i say you can't skip the tropes you can't skip the struggle that struggle is what makes it so sweet when you get out there on your own. If everything is as good in a training situation as it is while you're out on your own, then you know you aren't really gaining much. So I'm joking. This is a Peterbilt, so the air condition is a little bit better up in here than it is in a Freightliner. And I did do my training, my 140 miles or whatever, thousand miles on a Freightliner, so I I'm well familiarized with them you know, weak ass air conditioned systems up there. But anyway, enough about that. I want to thank you for stopping by No Hippie Trucking Transportation. As always, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.